Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, analyze Immunitab uh, for the uh, Takuchi parameter design which have the noise factor as well as the uh, input signal for the dynamic system. Right, so uh, this is the P diagram which we will going to analyze where you got the uh, noise factor which is the number of test site and uh, you got the uh, process which is the peak and brace test equipment then you got the output signal which is the noise uh, which is the uh, testing throughput and you got four control factor and two noise factor so how we can able to set out the takuchi uh, analysis in minitab for this p diagram and uh, this is how it show in the excel sheet uh, basically, you got the four control factor and two noise factor and three signal factor, right? So how we can able to analyze this p diagram in the I mean, that Then first of all, you have to uh, set out the uh, Takuchi DOE in Minitab where you go to Stat DOE and you go to Takuchi, then create. Takuchi design and as we know that uh, there is a three level uh, for the uh, control factor so you have to select three level design and we got four control factor right so display available design so it's L9 uh, which we are going to select the L9 uh, uh, analysis then you can select L9 over here right then select all night over here then you can go to design which is l9 right for three level basically you can either analyze with uh, l9 or l27 and you have to click over here add a signal factor as well because we are uh, in our p diagram there is a signal factor right so after that you can go for factor Right, so this is the control factor and this is the signal factor which we already input over here right the signal factor is test side and there are three level 8 16 32 right then after that we okay okay so over here you can see that uh, the control factor a b c d is already uh, in the uh, table as well as the input signal or signal factor but where we should able to put the noise factor so this is the question so basically the noise factor you have to key in over here noise where there is two level for noise factor is the N1 as well as the N2 right so uh, for the mini tab uh, layout is slightly different compared to the Excel layout where for the eight side uh, with the uh, 1111 control factor uh, factor uh, level setting for each side and this is the noise factor 1 for each side noise factor 2 for each side and noise factor 1 for 16 side and noise factor 2 for 32 side if you go back to uh, the Excel sheet okay let's say for uh, uh, parameter setting for 1111 for all the control factor with the signal factor of 8 and noise factor of N1 so is so the uh, output signal is 2122 and uh, signal factor of 8 with noise factor of N2 is 2228 so what you need to do is you have to put over here 2221 and 2228 right so for the input signal of 16 and noise uh, factor of n1 you can see here input signal of 16 noise factor of n1 is 24255 and noise factor uh, of n2 is 444480 so you have to key in over here Right, in order to save time, I already uh, have uh, this arranged properly in another sheet. So I just copy everything here. 
copy then I go back to here so I just paste right okay noise input signal 8 noise factor and 1 2 1 2 1 is it correct 2 1 2 2 okay because there is a, a decimal in the mini tab and input signal 8 with noise factor and 2 2 2 2 8 and 2 2 2 2 8 there is a decimal right and input signal 16 uh, 32 I for example 32 with noise factor and 1 32 1 7, 7, 8, and 1 is 8522 8522 yeah it's correct so now we have to analyze the uh, signal to noise ratio basically you have to go to DOE Takuchi and analyze Takuchi design DOE sorry Oh, so this one I have to delete first. Okay. So again, DOE, Takuchi, analyze Takuchi's design. And, uh, okay, respond data are in. Respond is N1 and N2, which is the output signal, N1 and N2. Then you select. Right, so, uh, what type of graph you want to show signal to noise ratio as well as a slope which is a sensitivity uh, then it's okay then analysis uh, uh, the most common one is a signal to noise as well as a slope so we will leave it as it and uh, so it's option then after that you can click ok so basically it will analyze and show you the slope which is a sensitivity graph as well as the signal to noise ratio so we will copy this and compare to the graph inside the excel sheet yeah this is the old one right compared to the graph in the excel sheet which is calculated by the uh, this excel and you can see that it is identical okay uh, yeah so this is the way to analyze the uh, robust parameter design with the input signal as well as the noise factor in minitab uh, thanks